Dear Mrs. Bartholo, my name is Lauren Bacelli and I'm a painter. Painting is everything for me, and the idea of being able to surround myself with a community of other artists and educators has always been my dream. The Emily Maverick Miller and Emily Miller Wells Endowed Presidential Scholarship in Art is a piece of making that dream happen. I'm able to attend the University of Texas because of the financial aid that was awarded. I'm hugely grateful for your scholarship, and I bear in mind the generosity that has made my attendance at UT possible when I consider my own future ambitions. I hope to be able to repay this kindness in the form of serving my own artistic community with altruism and purpose. It was not even hard to write the letter because <laughs> it was honest and real and I know how much of an impact Mary's made on me. And so I just wanted to make sure that she knew that she really made a difference in my life. She would get letters every year from the recipients of her scholarships. And she saved every one of them. She read every one of them. She was always interested in helping students who otherwise might not be able to afford to go to college. Mary was a champion for the arts and arts education. And she understood the importance of the arts. She was just amazed at what internally drove these students to have to do their art. So she appreciated it. It set her soul on fire but she wasn't an artist herself. Scholarships, in the big scheme of things, don't give a huge amount of money, but it gives enough to make some difference. And that made her very, very happy. My mother grew up in a house that was three and a half blocks from the university. Her dad, was an economics professor here. I would describe Mary as a true Renaissance woman. Her mother was an artist and a very well-respected one in Austin, as her sister was also. And both her mother and her sister uh, were graduates of the College of Fine Arts. She went to the University of Texas. She graduated from here. It was just in, it was in her blood. Mary was uh, such a force on our advisory council. She had a long history, 30 years, on the College of, uh, of Fine Arts Advisory Council. You know, it was like going home again, I suppose, and it, it was just a natural fit for her. Without Mary's scholarship, I wouldn't be here. I wasn't gonna go to a master's program unless it was fully funded, unless I was not gonna go into debt. It's a huge burden with no promise of payoff. People like Mary allowed me this opportunity. If it weren't for that, I would not be in an MFA program. She thought education was the be all and end all. You know, she put her money where her mouth was. She is opening a pathway for students that frankly may not have even had the financial ability to go to a university. I only hope that I can add to her scholarships and give more in her name. Her legacy is to pass along the passion for the arts. I definitely see that as her, um, her gift to me, and then hopefully I can gift it forward. <laughs>